we are back in some HNG. We will be using the bazooka M1A1. American, the M1A1 bazooka is an anti-tank rocket launcher. It is fired from the shoulder and is an effective weapon against enemy tanks. Okie dokie. So we got that. This is our loadout. Amongst that, we have the 1911 for a CQB and the sticky grenades. I'm going to show you guys how to use those. Um, as for our combat badge, uh, the top one I recommend if you're using a uh, bazooka loadout uh, and three weapons just in general, you want to go with Marathon Man because what this does is uh, keeping in shape and eating well lets you build more stamina, allowing you to sprint for a longer time. So basically, allows you to sprint longer distances. Right now, I have silver unlocked. That's 35% longer, which uh, really makes a difference because if you look, uh, when you're selecting your weapons, you have your uh, man icon that's running, and you have your red bar. Okay, well, you just your bar in general. Red is where um, it stops. Gray is what you have. So if I were to remove this bazooka per se, I'll show you an example of how heavy it is. And I'm actually using seven shots as opposed to four. You watch the red bar, and it goes all the way up. So that being said, this is going to slow me down tremendously, and Marathon Man will help you up to compensate for that. So, that being said, let's get started, let's get in game, and let's see if we can take out some tanks. Alright, let's do this. So, the main thing you want to look for when you are rocking anti-tank is uh, the enemy, of course, obviously for one. And, it will be highlighted, armor is always highlighted in a square, a red square. That's your priority. Uh, when you're moving as an anti-tank, you really want to stick with his, uh, your squad mates. And reason being is I'm not really going to be that effective against enemy infantry with nothing but 1911. As you can see here, I'll try to stick it behind this guy, but... Here, tank. Yep, that's another tank. Let's see if we can hide from this guy before he kills me. Okay. Alright, close ranges. I recommend you use your sticky grenades if this is your loadout. And depending on the tanks, you shouldn't need. That guy probably saw me. You should not need more than two. Um, if it's a heavier tanks, you might need more than two, to be honest with you. But, um, it is default set at 50 meters on the sights. Let's see if we can. You want to try to get your stickies to hit the rear, uh, and you can increase those. Let's see if he misses me. He's missed me. It's a Panzer two or Panzer four. So aside from pointing out things that you should do, or at least I recommend you do, I also wanted to point out things you shouldn't do. And right here you'll see one uh, that you should not do that I did in game. That is a tank destroyer. It's German. I believe it is called a Stug. Um, so it's heavily armored. It's very slow. And what I did is I was shooting at it from the front, and out of four shots, only one penetrated. So that's something you don't want to do. Here another one. So if you're using this loadout, it's always best to sticky first. I think he saw me, did he? No, he didn't see me. Sticky first. Just like that. Let's 
see if we can get the other guy here. Oh, I actually got him. Look at that. <laughs> Sticky grenade. Thanks for watching guys, in the end it really comes down to one thing and that is just good hand-eye coordination. Um, but three really main things that I want to point out is one, just make sure you move with your squad. Uh, that way you have infantry support because chances are you're more likely to get taken out by an enemy sniper uh, or someone with an MG as opposed to an actual tank. Uh, number two, look out for your red squares consistently. That is your primary job as an anti-tank personnel. You just constantly look for those red squares if you see one. You move up, you try to engage. And number three, uh, it's like you saw me on the last part of the video, is try to take a defensive position up if you can to counter enemy tank advancement. And if you could cut off the enemy's tank supply, you could pretty much win any map. A lot of people don't use the tank loadout, you know, anti-tank loadout, because it is difficult to use. But if you master it, you can you can be very powerful and help your squad and team out tremendously. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.